Hi and welcome back to the channel. As you probably all know there's been a bit of a kerfuffle over Flatsoid FE and an alleged deleted 11 frames from a Reds rhetoric video. I think he may have done much worse. Reds had filmed an Orion test capsule abort test and presented some beautiful film. Let's have a quick look at that first. Whoa. The amazing thing about that was it proved the curve of the Earth because the capsule disappears from sight before you see the splash. But there were issues over a presentation that Flatsoid FE did when apparently there was no curve. I recently on a live stream did a breakdown of it. Let's have a quick look at that now. Right, so here is, here is um, Red's Rhetoric's initial original video. Uh, it's the f it's 4K film of the Orion launch abort test, as you can see there. So I've got that on one tab, and on the other tab here, this is Oops No Curve, which is Flatsoid's video, okay? Uh, I've got them roughly the same point. So this is the original. So if I just let this play for a few seconds. So capsule's falling back to Earth, goes through the clouds, and a few seconds later, there's the horizon, and here it comes, splash. Whoa. Whoa, indeed, Mr. Red's rhetoric. So there you go. Very impressive and uh, very, very lucky to capture that on film. So let's have a look. Actually, I'm going to take that back a tad for a reason. Uh, if I just get it to come down. I'll stop it about there. And I'll just go on. Is it going to do it? My keyboard's playing up again. Um, come on, I want to... Uh, uh, there we go. That's the frame I want. Um, so let's go on to Flatsoid's video from roughly the same sort of time. So if I just let that play, no sound on this because he's got some music and I don't want a copyright thing on that. So it's Red's video. Look carefully now, he says. And here it comes. Splash. Well, that's all very interesting, isn't it? Did you see it? And he pauses it. Okay, I, I've paused his video. You can see the capsule a short distance above the apparent horizon. And I don't think you can see it. There's a slight lump there, which he's going to talk about. So if I get Reds's video, there you go. I've got it to the same frame. It's just above the horizon. And there's a slight lump just there. Right, so they, they are on the same frame. So there's Reds's and there's Flatsoids. So this was hit Flatsoids original flat earth evidence. So I'll let it play. So did you see it? And then he, what he's going to do, he's going to draw on the horizon line. There we go. He's, he's drawn on a thin red line, pretty much on, on that apparent horizon. That's great. That's all cool so far. Come on, because he's, he's nattering nattering away. Okay, so you say inferior mirage. And indeed, there is a slight lump you can see on the horizon. There is some miraging. So that's all cool. Carry on, Mr. Flatsoid FE. Okay, he's obviously talking about it. But what he does, what he does next, he draws on a line of um, where he thinks the, the actual horizon is. There we go. And he's drawn that line just under where the capsule occurs. So what he's implying is the capsule is literally above the horizon. And there's a mirage, an inferior mirage, which gives you um, the lump there, which is the capsule. Now, as far as that goes, that would be fair enough. You could then uh, argue the toss over uh, the optics of it all. So let's let him carry on. Here we go. Come on then. Right, so now we're going to see the capsule hit. Boom. Very nice. So going back to Reds's, um, oh, that's the same point just before. Now, what I want to do is take them both back. Uh, where are we? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, 
hold on I want to get to the right point so I'm going to go back some frames now he's obviously got that paused right okay so there it is the same thing so I'm going to step forward frame by frame so that's redsies that's uh, flat soids as near as damn it it's the same frame as best I can do and if it is a a frame or two out it's not going to matter so with reds is I'm going to step forward one frame there we go and it's moved down slightly and it's it's obviously rotating so it looks a different shape we'll step forward one frame with flat zoids boom oh dear massive splash well okay like I said I could have been a frame or two ahead or behind whichever so let's carry on with reds both of those have gone on one frame so reds two frames it's disappeared three frames you can see movement in the water four frames five frames and there's the start of the splash six frames seven frames eight frames now just remember eight no that splash is bigger nine frames ten frames still bigger eleven frames that pretty much looks like it to me I'll go on another one. Who knows? 11, 12. Call it 10. Let's be generous. Say 10 frames. That's not good. That's not good at all. As you can imagine, this has got a lot of people quite angry uh, because Flatsoid has been accused of lying, fudging the data, basically hiding the curve. Um, now, I will give Flatsoid full credit because he came on that live stream and he came up with an explanation of what he had done and why. If you want to see that, I'll put a link to the stream up there. It's worth a watch. Flatsoid basically said that he had made a cut to the film and that he had cut out the portion where the capsule was behind the mirage. Um, and I think we've pretty much agreed that right or wrong, what he should have done is said, I've cut some out. And then we could have uh, just dealt with it. But of course he didn't. Now the thing is, I've looked into this further and I'm afraid that Flatsoid may have done much worse. Before I show you that, I want to say big thanks to my amazing patrons. I want to give massive thanks to all of my supporting members and patrons. Thank you all so very much. So anyway, I did quite a bit of investigating and I managed to get hold of Red's Rhetoric's original, original footage. I don't know quite how he's done it, but it would appear that Flats was not only taken out three, four, five frames or whatever, but he's even managed to hack YouTube and affect the original YouTube video. I have, like I said, I have no idea how he did it. So let's have a look at this original, original footage. Now you can see the capsule coming down through the clouds tumbling away absolutely beautiful filming reds and then it's going to go through the cloud deck and approach the horizon when we see it disappear here it comes boom okay mm. cheese on toast and then what happens splash this is absolutely unforgivable and totally ridiculous. I, I, like I said, I have no idea how you could have hacked YouTube like that. Hey pal, do you have any idea how? Oh, no, I know about that. But, um, I do know I love fluffy kittens. Okay, kittens, eh? Anyway, I really enjoyed that. How was it for you, Big Chris? It's been emotional. Until next time, stay sensible.